Hello everyone, and welcome to another one of our videos. Please take a deep breath, relax, and enjoy. Men who have been cheated on, what are some red flags that made you suspect that your partner was cheating? She went from crazy clingy to not caring if we hung out. To be fair I was already checked out of the relationship but with her mom dying I didn't really know how to break up with her or when. I was 21 and she was 19 without a fake kid so when she would use to complain about me going to bars on the weekend and then stopped caring about me going I knew something was up. Confirmation was the fact that she kept going to hang out with the same guy every time I went out. I knew what was up but as I said I was checked out so I didn't care. I didn't know the guy at the time besides the fact that he was installing the stereo system in her car, but now he is one of my best friends. He later told me about it and admitted to it, my response was I know. I knew when it was happening but I didn't care, we laughed, had another shot and had a good night. The phone. She got real protective of it. Wouldn't use it when I was around, but when I would walk out of the room she would snap it up and then when I would walk back in she would stuff it away. Not sharing her passcode for things like when I would want to look something up online and my phone wasn't handy. Then one day she had taken her passcode off for some reason and then fell asleep. I got in and found out why she had been so protective of it. I hadn't even thought anything of it until she started apologizing. I later learned I interrupted their date. He had taken her to a movie and dinner. In case you were wondering she later broke up with me saying she didn't have time for a relationship. Two days later she was dating the movies guy. Also spread rumors that she left me because I was toxic. I lost a lot of friends over that. It was a bad time. So red flag, if you find your girl in a date scenario with a friend and she is flustered you are there. That isn't a friend and it is a date. I had returned from my second, six month deployment, 1992. And a neighbor had talked with me about strange cars in the driveway while I was gone. I found men's cologne on my chest of drawers. She didn't try to hide it very well, although she denied the hell out of it. Honestly, the flags are pretty obvious if people pay attention to them, but most people choose not to because of trust. The main giveaway is usually obvious signs, getting text messages at weird hours or chat windows you notice with random guys that just won't leave her alone. If some guy is texting her all the time how did he get her number and why won't he get the message? These should be big red flags. Secondly, overprotective of their phone. If their computer and phone always seems to be secured like a bank vault there is probably something strange. For instance I had a girl who wouldn't leave her phone anywhere, even if she was going to the toilet the phone came with her. The third key one, is she'll just disappear for hours or days at a time. I think even most cheaters won't do this as they know how obvious it is. But at the end of the day, all of these things are easy enough to cover up if they really want to. From personal experience people who cheat are lazy and they rarely care enough to bother to hide anything. I was being cheated on, but I didn't know. I was breaking up with her for another reason, nothing major, we had been exclusive for like 3 months but I didn't see the relationship going anywhere, and she didn't really have a reaction. She was just like okay, I guess if that's what you really want. No fight, no yelling, no questions. It was surreal. I was expecting a long conversation slash fight, but she was just like whatever and not even angry about it. That night, she drunkenly texted me a pic of her doing things with some other guy. She left me a voicemail saying how she had been seeing him for weeks. Well that explained that. I later found out that that other guy didn't know about me, and called it off the next day. I can't say there was any specific flag but there was just a general change in our time together. She cancelled plans. There was a couple free concerts in the area she decided she didn't really want to go, or wanted to just go with her girlfriend she hadn't seen in a while, didn't respond to messages as quickly. Then we went to my cottage for a weekend and I could just tell she wasn't the same girl. She was obviously acting weird due to guilt or anxiety of not knowing how to break the news to me. Constantly on her phone. Which suddenly was locked all the time. Finding reasons to be out of the house alone. We had a family gym membership which she refused to use, instead getting another membership at a gym closer to work. She'd switch moods between distant and suspiciously affectionate. First was a kind of I don't care attitude. Not in the sense that she didn't care about me, but more in the sense that she quit arguing with me, very tumultuous relationship at the time. When we would disagree, instead of fighting, she'd just be like whatever and move on. 
She was always more of the type to always want to resolve everything right then and there, and she was generally dramatic about it too. Second, and most obvious flag was the phone secrecy. I had never once dug through her stuff after three years of living together, and all of a sudden she has passcodes, I message instead of message preview, and never parted from the damn thing. It was actually this that caused me to look through the phone and find out about everything. I had no idea, until my best friend made a reference to something that happened to me since the last time I'd seen him. And the only person I told about it before that moment was her. They'd spent time together and I hadn't known about it. It was secret time together. I was so hurt, angry and after that realization I don't even know how or when I got the final confirmation. But they did admit it. Just recently got out of a 3.5 year relationship because of this. Some things I started to notice leading up to the breakup and me finding out. Slowly distancing herself from me. Always seeming to be busy, lack of affection and love towards me. Odd behavior and not acting the way she usually acts. Unfortunately in my case if you suspect your partner is cheating on you, they most likely are. The biggest sign was the guy she was cheating on me with was one of her exes. The two of us hated each other from the moment we met. Even before they originally dated. Now because she tried to remain friends with everyone, we often were all in the same place. Here's two of the biggest red flags. She would constantly request that I be civil with him and not rag on him much if at all. She made no such requests of him in regards to me. I made a hour long drive to surprise her and take her to a diner around 11 pm that we used to go to earlier when we were both in the same college. When I got there, she was not thrilled because she had to tell that guy they couldn't hang out as planned and he had to take a 5 minute walk back across campus. Number 2 was when I knew deep down 100% that something was going on. There were definitely more, a lot, than those two in retrospect, but those were the ones I saw even at the time that got me really suspicious. She didn't seem to want to spend the night with me anymore. When she did spend nights with me, she didn't seem interested in touching me, or being touched by me. She took up a new sport, with a university-sponsored, I think, team. On which men outnumbered women, by an overwhelming margin. Within a few days, she was playing naked. And she told me so, with the same small excitement as you might tell someone you'd begun eating your bagels with strawberry cream cheese, rather than the more familiar plain cream cheese. When I objected to her sharing her nudity with a dozen or more men I didn't know, she treated the objection as unreasonable. More generally, she engaged in a persistent pattern of obnoxious behavior. It seemed calculated to make me uncomfortable during the time we spent together. As the relationship rapidly became one I no longer recognized, I had a distinct impression that she was trying to annoy me into breaking up with her. I was still surprised to learn from mutual friends, a week or two after she broke up with me, that she had cheated on me. While I may have wondered, I never suspected. I put that down to youth, I was 20 years old. Finding out she'd skipped college even though she'd asked me to drop her off. Her friends came round a few days later and asked where she'd been that day in front of me, she got really nervous and just said she'd skipped it and came back home. That was fair enough, I didn't get why she wanted me to drop her off there though, I wouldn't have cared if she didn't want to go. Later I asked a housemate and he said she didn't come home until much later in the day. With another ex I arrived at hers with my brother to take them both to a gig my brother was playing at near me. She told me just to wait in the car and call when I got there so I did. While waiting I saw her ex coming out of the alley the entrance to her flat was in, followed a couple minutes later by her coming out the same way. I knew he lived nearby but it wasn't a shortcut or anything. Had to leave it a couple days because my brother was staying with me before I mentioned it. Turns out while she was at hers without me he was spending most nights. For me, it occurs when a girl suddenly doesn't want to tell me all about her days. It went from oh at the flea market yesterday me and Beth did this and this and this and then got ice cream, etc. to yesterday? Um, nothing. So probably any big change in behavior pattern. Good deception is really hard and takes significant effort. The problem is, most people think they can just act normal and weighing it, that's false. To truly carry a lie you have to plan and practice. She was so interested in a guy at work. They were just friends but she talked about him a lot you know. His family owns a cabin on the lake he backpacked through Europe his sister is so kind and so pretty blah blah blah. There's your red flags. Came home one day after work and she said it's over and doesn't know why but she has feelings for him. The signs were all there looking back on it. Four years down the drain just like that. On the bright side, 
they got married and he cheated on her and left her. You reap what you sow. She went out with friends and I stayed in to do work slash study. Hours later a buddy of mine called to tell me he saw her dancing with some guy then making out with him. When she came home I asked how her night went and she didn't want to go into details about it and claimed she had a headache and was tired, red flag. The next day she was acting pretty weird towards me. She asked to use my computer while I ran some errands. When I came back home she had left already and when I went to use my computer she had accidentally left her Facebook open on her messages. Before me was a series of messages between her and some guy, I assume the gentleman from the previous evening. Expressing how much fun they had together slash enjoyed each other's company slash wanting to meet again. I thought it over and calmed down a bit and asked her out to lunch. After lunch I questioned her about her night again and she acted the same aloof way about it. I then mentioned how my friend had seen her with another guy etc and she denied it. I then told her about leaving her messages open on my computer. She pretended like the messages were of a friendly nature and I had nothing to worry about. I was in disbelief. When I said that we should think about breaking up because of it she said I was overreacting and that she didn't want that. I couldn't trust her after that so we broke up. Sudden change in time we spent together the next semester. I understand being busy yet I felt emotional distance when we talked on the phone. An early morning Facebook post, 2am, about her having a fun time with, insert guy's name, home. She has not made time for me during the day during the new semester. An unusual hatred for a previous lover by hearing her talk about him randomly on dates. Just to name three. When I got back from Iraq after 8 months away from the States and found her 5 months pregnant. I was 20 years old. We'd been going out for almost a year. In retrospect, yeah, I should have seen it coming. But when I was 20, I was a lot less jaded in a lot of ways than I am now at 30. I have terrible taste in women. I love the bad ones. But that's something you learn with experience, and at the time, I didn't have much experience. I think what really broke her was when the orders came down that our tour was getting extended from 12 months to 16. She said it started a week after my mid-tour leave. I don't have any reason to doubt her, she certainly wasn't trying to spare my feelings at that point. I'm just glad that I had a good unit looking after me. Top made everyone who wasn't married come in for counseling if they were planning on putting their girlfriend on a joint account. Their SGLI or, God forbid, we're thinking of giving them power of attorney. He saved a lot of soldiers a lot more pain. Congratulations, you've made it to the end. We want to thank you again for giving us a few minutes of your time and we wish you have a great rest of your day, night or whenever you're watching this. If you enjoyed the video, please make sure to subscribe, it really does help us a lot. That's it from me, roll the outro.